everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! For the top we're going to be making today, it's made up with four uh, main, the main part is four uh, granny squares. So here I have used a size uh, J hook, which is a number 10, it's six millimeters, and I am going to be using this um, yarn called the Creme de la Creme, and it is by Coates, uh, Coates and Clark um, from Red Heart. And then of course you're gonna you're gonna need your J hook, some scissors, a uh, uh, yarn needle, and um, what you're gonna be doing here is that you're gonna make two granny squares using this the J hook with three rounds. So here's one, two, three. So I have two of these, and then you're gonna make. So these are the two um, granny squares that go on the sides. And then you're going to make two large granny squares, just like this, same hook size, but this one has eight rounds. So then that's going to give you a total of uh, four granny squares. Now what we're going to do, these are the squares for the front and the back, and these are the squares for the side. So here what you, you want to do, you can either um, attach with a needle and yarn, or you could do uh, attach them with the crochet hook using a slip stitch. What I'm gonna do here, make sure that the right side is up, um, and this is the wrong side, so let me move this. You're gonna get your large granny square, and you're gonna sew, um, attach the side, to the sides here, the smaller granny squares, okay? So here is three rounds, and here is the eight rounds. So here, you could, um, and then once I do this, I'm going to flip this over to the wrong side, lay this other square wrong side to wrong side like this, and then attach the other edge this way. So it'll be all one piece. So here you can attach it with the sewing like I'm going to do, or you can um, do it with a slip stitch. Just make sure you match your stitches. So here I'm going to start at the second uh, chain in the center of the uh, three chains for the corners, just like this and you can attach them either way. I'm just going to make a little knot there and then afterwards I'm going to come back and sew in that tail and I'm just getting the, the loops, the inside loops here and make sure you match your loops to here. Loop, loop, just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way to the top and I'm going to do that on both of my pieces, okay? So here I will also end in the second stitch right there. Okay, here I've come to the end. So now I'm just going to make a little knot and then I'm going to sew in my tails. I'm going to repeat this on the other side. On my other edge here, attach my other granny square here. So I want to make sure in this, uh, this time I'm going to be making sure that all my pieces are all facing the right side up. So see this is the wrong side. So I want to make sure I attach them all with the right sides together. Okay, I've sewn these edges together, so these are all the right sides. So I'm going to flip this over. So now the wrong side is facing me. I'm going to get my other square, and I want to make sure that I have the right side, the wrong sides facing each other just like this. And then now I'm going to sew these edges along here so that it's going to be all connected. And when I do that, then you could see that it's going to be all one garment. So these here, the side, this is the side of the body, the un under the arms, the front, and the back. Okay, I've sewn both of my pieces here. So now it's all together, just like this. And now you want to uh, work a couple of rows of single crochet around the edges. When you get here on these, um, I'm not going to be doing the single crochets into the chain just into the space it's a lot easier so here you're just going to go around and you're going to do one single crochet in every stitch i'm just going to start in one of these um, sections here it doesn't really matter which one and then basically just one single crochet around so let me attach my yarn here and then um this here just trying to get the yarn here you know come out and then I'm just going to do chain one and I'm just going to do single crochet in every stitch and then when I get here to the stitches where the um, 
the uh, chains are, after I do the single crochets, I'm just going to do the single crochets into the space. So here you don't have to go into the chain if you don't want to. You can if you want. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to make a little um, a border. So here in the spaces in, you do two single crochets. And then just repeat one single crochet in every stitch around. And you're going to do that all the way around. When you get to the corners, right here, I'm just going to do an extra stitch. So it just helps me turn the corner just right here. So here I'm in that little hole right there. I should have done my stitch stitch there, but since I had that attached, I'm going to go in there. And then I just do another one, two in the corner. And then I'm just going to continue, skip that area, and just one single crochet every stitch. So I'm going to come back after I've worked two rows of single crochet, and you're going to work this all the way around. So here I've started in this section, but you would go here all the way around. In the corners here, you do, well, there's three chains here, so you would do three single crochets, go all the way around, three single crochets all the way around until you work your way back here. Slip stitch into the first uh, stitch, chain one, and then continue once again to do two rows of single crochet. Okay, I finished doing that part now here. You could see your two rows of single crochet. So now here in the corners, I'm going to add my yarn and then I'm going to chain 25 attached to the other corner. Then when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and come back, slip stitch into every stitch and then I can um, finish it off here. So just to do that, it's super easy. Just get your yarn and go ahead and attach to the corner here. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and start chaining. I'm leaving a long tail here so that it's easy for me to sew that in at the end. And I'm going to do 25 chains. One, two, three. Okay, there's 25. Now I'm going to attach to here to the corner. Stitch in the um, piece behind me, the second granny square. Just going to go ahead and bring that through and now here I can slip stitch back into every chain and I'm going to go all the way back and then here I'm going to go ahead and fasten off and then sew in on my tail. So just slip stitch into each chain just to make it a little bit stronger and then you're going to repeat that on the other side for your... Okay here I'm coming to the end so I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that same stitch here. Now I could cut my yarn and then I can fasten off. I'm going to leave a long tail so it's easier to sew those in. And then here at the end, you just go ahead and sew in your tails. So repeat that on the other side and this is what your little straps will look like. Okay, I finished both of my shoulder straps and my pieces all together. If you want it this length, uh, then um, you could try it on and you could leave it like this. This is perfect for using over... Um, your bikini top or a little you know sports bra or tank top but um, here I'm going to be adding a couple more rows so that it can just kind of go down to the waist you can start at any point here and you're just going to work this granny stitch so here I'm probably going to start right in uh, here in the back somewhere and I'm just going to get my yarn and make a little slip loop get it ready right here and then I'm going to start in this uh, space here but you can um, it's just we're just going to go around you're going to attach your yarn let me get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing so right here I'm just attaching the yarn and I'm going to chain three to go up one two three and that's going to count as my first double crochet and then you're just going to go work two or three rows of granny stitch so here in the stitches between my clusters I'm going to start doing my three double crochet so here's that three chains is the first one so there's one and two and then once again here in these spaces between them we do our two chains one two and we're going to work this all the way around so here's one two and three and then here in our um sections where we joined our granny square we're going to treat this like if it was our three clusters so we're going to one two and then start going 
once again here in our next space our three double crochets and you're going to repeat this all the way around when you get to the beginning you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first um that third chain here and then you're going to go ahead and slip slip stitch over the next two so one two until you get here chain your three and then start working again just like we did here you're going to do work the slip stitch the same as you do for your granny squares here so i'm going to go ahead and do two more rows and that'll give me um, a little bit more of a little bit longer skirt so it's not such a crop top not a longer skirt a longer uh, shirt excuse me and then i will just fasten off and i can have it finished or if you want you could uh, put a little um uh, edge maybe you want to do some little shells or whatever you want to do it's totally up to you but now your uh, top will be ready to wear over your bathing suit or wear it for summer so I'm going to go ahead and do the two rows and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like okay I'm coming to the end of my second row here I'm just going to slip stitch there and now if you want you could add more um, rows if you want your top to be longer um, and so I think this looks pretty good remember I'm making this so that you can wear over like a bikini top or um, something like that because it is it does show through you could line it if you want but this is really just made to be a top over your shirt so I'm going to go ahead and sew in all my tails and then I'll show you a picture here on the mannequin of what it looks like enjoyed this video tutorial it's super easy and it looks so cute on um, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so share the video with your friends and family and remember always that God loves you